Okay, so you want to know my thoughts on these? Well, I have some mixed feelings, so we'll get into that right now, the good and the bad. So the Leafs have just unveiled the outfits that they'll be wearing for the outdoor game versus Washington. It's all white. Well, except for two blue stripes and except for the skates, which I will get to later. Those goddamn skates better be white. So I'm not trying to be harsh, but these are like nothing I've ever seen before in a good way and in a bad way. For one, they're very unique for the NHL, which is a hard thing to do. But on the other hand, you might not be able to see them on the ice because it is an outdoor game and what if it snows? It's really hit and miss for me with hockey uniforms and the colors. Like I love Vegas's, I think the black and the gold is like iconic. On the other hand, I think Minnesota's is vomit and I absolutely hate it. No offense to Minnesota fans. I've never really liked green as a color for a jersey. I mean, it's one thing to have the white socks and the white jersey and then blue pants. It's another thing to have the white pants. And when it comes to design, it's basically the Centennial Classic jersey, but like with reversed colors, which I think is why I can't tell if I love it or hate it yet. Because on one hand, I really love the Centennial jersey. That design is flawless in my mind. But if you're just reusing the same design over and over and just changing the colors, I don't know how I feel about that. And obviously there's slight differences, like there's a, the two stripes instead of just the block of blue, but it's basically the same to me. Which is probably funny because me as just this person, I'm like, oh, that's the same as this jersey, but the person who designed it's like, no, no, there's, there's small differences. So like I said, not only the jersey is white, but so is everything else. The gloves, the helmet, the socks, the pants, but not the skates. And listen, if you're gonna go all out and do all white, you might as well do the skates. Go the extra kilometer. I know it's supposed to be mild, but I'm, I'm Canadianizing this. If they really want to win me over, they still have time to change this, right? If they really want to win me over, they would make the skates white and I would be 100% on board with this outfit. Now, another difference to this jersey is that the Honor Pride Courage that is usually on the collar of the jersey is now on the arm, which has then made room for the Royal Canadian Navy's motto, ready, a ready. I had to look that one up. I think overall it is really cool to have an all white uniform, except for the skates, but possibly the skates. Any other day of the week, I would say that this is the best thing ever. But for an outdoor game, I don't know. I guess it won't matter all that much if it doesn't snow. And I've looked at the forecast of where they're gonna be playing and it seems to be warm enough that there won't be snow. Oh my God, what if there's rain? That would suck. But God, could you imagine heavy snowfall like in that Canada versus USA game for the IIHF and it was just coming down on them? But of course, this is just me nitpicking. I'm sure that the whiteness of this jersey won't interfere with anything, and to be honest, when it's cheap enough, I'll probably buy one too. So in the end, I think it's all okay. <laughs> now, I'm really interested to see what you guys think about this, because of course, this is just one opinion coming here. I would like to discuss with you the best parts of this and the worst parts of this. Maybe I'm the only one who thinks that the skates need to be white. I don't think so. I think this is like a problem, like a, an error in judgment for them. And I know this is totally counterproductive and not at all what it's for, but they should have the white things going under the eyes instead of the black things. <laughs> but maybe none of this matters to you, so make sure you comment down below so we can discuss it. So you may have noticed that I'm filming this on an actual camera that's good quality, which I will then edit on a computer that works. Yeah, so I finally broke down and bought a computer to edit on because my old one was like 10 years old and not, not, not working for me. Finally, I can edit a video without Final Cut Pro crashing and then taking an hour to restart. And now that I can film on a camera that actually has more than five minutes of memory, I can finally film sports talk again. Yeah, that's right. I'm bringing back the 25 minute videos, guys, whether you like it or not. Okay, so that's all for today and I'll see you guys later.